So why you should learn Python as a DevOps engineer? So this is a question that I have been asked a lot lately and I really want to answer it with a short video. And let's get started. So a lot of people are going to define DevOps in a different way because a lot of DevOps engineers are doing different things in their position. So this is why some DevOps engineers might say to you that you don't even need to learn coding and some other DevOps engineers, maybe like me, will say that, yeah, you have to know at least one or two programming languages to basically automate stuff that is related to deploying an application or building it or writing some test cases. So I'm going to give my honest opinion about if you should learn Python to become a DevOps engineer. So at my first job, I can totally say you that I had a basic background with programming, but I had no idea what Python is and why I need to learn maybe this programming language but actually in my first job after a year or something like that I realized that Python is actually a programming language that can suit for every scenario and it can really help you to achieve everything that you want to learn in some part of your life. So even if you want to become a backend developer, then maybe learning Django and Flask perfectly is a great idea. Even if you are not going to write Django in your job and you are going to learn some other backend framework like Laravel or something like that, having a basic understanding of how backend works is again going to work with Python because it has the Django web framework. And I can really continue on with this with more positions that exist out there. And I really think that knowing the Python programming language is actually a wonderful advantage for each of the roles out there. So as a DevOps engineer using Python, could be extremely useful when you want to automate some stuff against your web applications. So if you think about it, when you work as a DevOps engineer, you are responsible to write maybe some test cases or maybe writing some scripts that will help to deploy applications to a development environment or to a production environment. And you need to be responsible to maintain a lot of configurations and a lot of YAML files. So automating those stuff with Python is great idea because if you think about it, it has everything that you need to write automation, even if you want to create an infrastructure from scratch. So if you think about it, there is a wonderful utility that is called Ansible. And even the Ansible itself is based on Python. So this means again that knowing Python as a DevOps engineer could really help you to make your lives easier because Ansible is a wonderful tool that will help you to create automation in a very generic way against any infrastructure that you want. And the fact that it is kind of based on Python really will make your life easier to getting started with it, for example. And now maybe I'd like to discuss about how I use Python in my position as a DevOps engineer so it can really help you out to understand why you really should learn Python as a DevOps engineer. So I remember that one of the scenarios that I use Python as a DevOps engineer is for automating deployment for the entire web application that my company basically had as a main product. So I remember that I developed a GUI application with Tkinter with a lot of functionalities where each functionality was responsible to deploy the application to production in a different way. So you see, there is going to be a lot of reasons why you should learn Python rather than why you should not learn Python as a DevOps engineer, because this is something that could be a wonderful addition to your skill set, And this could really be helpful if you want to come up with different tools that will make your company's life easier in some cases, like I explained with this GUI application that I talked about recently. Now, one other reason that I'm really happy that I learned a web framework like Django or Flask, because it really helped me to understand how the entire flow of building an application and deploying it works. And it really helped me to understand how a web application needs to be connected to a database. And it helped me to understand the difficulties maintaining a database in a company because a database service could have multiple functionalities that we might not see in the first look, but really it is very complex to maintain a database in a company, especially when your data grows. 
So the framework of Django, for example, is something that really helped me to understand how everything is connected to each other and it really completed me a great picture to understand everything about application development at all. So this was really helpful for me because I really started to understand how a company works and how an application could be improved by the time. Now, one other reason that I could think about it is the fact that Python has a great library of writing test cases for your applications. So if you think about it, when you have this large application, then you need to write some test scenarios to really test if everything works. So Python has a wonderful library that is called PyTest that really makes life easier to write multiple scenarios. So I could imagine that if you now extremely familiar with this PyTest framework, then again, it is going to be an advantage for you to being a DevOps engineer or even an automation developer or something in that kind. So again, it returns to that point that I said that Python is really a language that it has a lot of tools and frameworks that supports different areas around application development. And PyTest is again, one of them. And I also want to talk about one of the difficulties that I had in the first job as a DevOps engineer. So I was really afraid that since I did not have a lot of experience with Linux servers, then I really thought that this is a huge disadvantage because knowing how to maintain servers and writing automation only in Windows environments could be sometimes a disadvantage because a lot of people look for both. So when I learned Python, I realized that this programming language is easily could be executed on both Linux servers and on Windows servers. So learning this programming language really helped me to dive into Linux servers and try to execute my Python programs on Linux environments. And that is why learning the Python programming language took me to the next level in the Linux area. So I realized that there are a lot of Linux distributions that you can work with like Ubuntu, Debian, Fedora, obviously. And I know that not all the programming languages support this kind of utility of being able to execute on both Windows and Linux environment. But yeah, I agree that you not really need to be expert at programming to become a DevOps engineer. Say that you have some background with AWS or with a different cloud provider and you really feel comfortable with those areas, then maybe the company that will look to hire you as a DevOps engineer will not really ask you to be the most expert guy with Python or with any other programming language. So I know personally a lot of DevOps engineers that they are not so passionate about learning how to code. So that doesn't turn those kind of DevOps engineers to less effective or something like that. But I just want to say that knowing this programming language could be a great advantage for becoming a DevOps engineer. So what you should focus on learning when you learn Python if you want to become a DevOps engineer. Now, I would say that you probably want to know how you should use libraries like OS and you should also know how to work with file systems and you should also be familiar with how you can automate stuff against different websites like libraries like Selenium or a Beautiful Soup and stuff like that because it will really help you to develop some kind of automation and it will really help you to basically understand more about the different libraries that exist. And more libraries that I could think about could be maybe libraries that will help you to work with Docker and Python together. So I know that there are a lot of Docker libraries that basically helps you to automate container creation and deletion with Python. So learning those things with Python could be extremely useful for you as well. Okay, so if you find this video useful, then consider subscribing to my channel and I will see you in my other videos.